Hi everyone, thank you so very much for joining me for another episode of Screw the Cubicle TV. This is the channel to help inspire you to break free from the shackles of conventional work so that you can start creating um, a better version of your career and your life. So thank you so much for joining me today. Um, and today I want to talk about a topic that I know absolutely trumps people when they are creating or reinventing a new path in their career. Right, So a lot of you that are listening to this video right now are either in the midst of creating a business or maybe you've been in the first year of business uh, and you're possibly experiencing confidence issues when it comes to really believing that the work that you do is valuable and that you can charge for it uh, and that people really need to know what you do. So I believe that the, the confidence of your work really comes first from you, not actually even just a validation from your customers, but you have to innately believe that the work that you're putting out there in the world is valuable. So how do we do this? Um, well, we'll talk about this more in the video, but why we're doing this is because I know when you are a freelancer or you're a business owner and doing this for the first time, uh, one of the best ways to attract customers obviously is to be talking about your work. And you might be avoiding talking about your work because you just can't really pinpoint the thing that you do that's really going to hit the mark uh, for really convincing people or converting people to go from interested to a buying customer. So this is what we're going to talk about in this video. Being confident in the work that you do is going to help you confidently promote your business, talk about your work, and attract your customers much more easily than keeping quiet about it and sort of waiting for someone to, uh, you know, get that you are the best thing since sliced bread, right? You can't be waiting at the door for that person to come. So you need to get out there and start speaking about it. Uh, whether you're an introvert or an extrovert, there are many ways to be visible uh, without needing to sort of shout from the rooftops. But really, it is non-negotiable for you to really understand what to say uh, and how to, um, you know, let your customers know that your, your, your work is valuable. So the first place where you want to start is really understanding first, actually not from just your opinion and your views, you know, being ahead of the game of them, uh, for, from them, uh, is what are they anticipating as the results and the goals that they want to achieve? And sometimes when you really survey and interview people, so that's one action for you here, actually talk to real people that fit the ideal profile of your ideal client and actually have a real conversation with them. Maybe it's someone you already know, uh, maybe it's some a past customer you worked with, uh, maybe it's a friend uh, that is the sort of beginner stage of where they need your help and this is the best part to uh, or an opportunity to pick the brain of this person. Um, and what you're trying to find out is what do they define this transformation? What do they define the results that they want? How do they define the goals that they want to have and why do they want those goals? And this is truly going to help you um, understand that your product or service is leading people to this destination. You're using their language, you're using their words, so that when you talk about the results, it's truly going to hit the mark because it's exactly how another human being would have said it. All right, so after you found out what your ideal customer is seeking for, actively seeking for, and what they define the results and goals that they want to achieve, I want you to look at that from a bird's eye view and start to reverse engineer of what you believe the steps that they have to achieve where you can help them through it to, in order to get to that goal, right? So your steps, uh, the how of how you, you do your process could be different from someone else, even if there's a competitor um, helping other customers reach the same result, how they get to it could be very different. So this is where you infuse your approach the way that you want to solve that problem, uh, your skill sets that you bring to the table to allow this journey to be unique to you. So when you reverse engineer what it takes for a customer where they're at right now to getting to where they want to go, there's a few steps missing, right? That's why they're coming to you. And this is what I call the milestone steps. These are sort of the many little goals that have to be met along the way to get to the bigger goal. What are those milestone steps for you? And for you personally, as a business owner or a freelancer to understand these steps, what it's going to do is going to give you um, a recognition and an awareness of all the meaty things that you actually do to get people to results. And that really helps when you're talking in your sales pages about what sort of work you'll be doing with them, what else are you going to be solving for them that is going to lead them to this bigger goal, which is going to help them to recognize these steps that they're taking, these valuable milestones they get to make with you in order to reach the results. And you um, get to also, as I said, recognize these steps and know what to plan for. You know, what 
exercises you might want to give your clients, uh, what sort of sessions that you might have to run, like if you're a coach, that will actually answer some of the questions that are necessary for them to reach that goal. All right, we're on to the last step. So after you've done the first two steps that I just mentioned, right, which is the first thing of understanding the results and transformation that your customers want to have and actively are seeking, and then reverse engineering those steps to get to the milestone steps, all the meaty bits that you solve and all the meaty bits that you guide them through towards the real results, the last step is for you to ask, test, and validate. And what I mean by that is I want you to get feedback. Isn't it amazing that there are people out there that are going to tell us um, the improvements that we have to make and also let us know if whether or not what we've created in the, so in the sense of that journey is actually relevant and important to them as well. So this is where, what I call the beta test stage. And you can do this before you even do have your website up, any branding, any of the sexy things that you think you have to do for the marketing of your business. But really focus on this sort of uh, in transition step of testing your services or your products with a real human. So you can pick two to three people that you want to beta test. They have to fit the ideal profile, obviously, and walk through those steps with them, coach them through it, uh, mentor them through it, or do the steps for them, whatever, you know, depending on what, what sort of services you offer. Like a web designer, you might be more of an implementer, but you're also still doing all those steps in order for someone to get the result that they want. Um, and the whole benefit of beta testing is for you to, first of all, Know that you like the work, right? So a lot of you guys might be starting a business that actually you've never done this before. You've done it before in corporate and you bring it into a sort of different space and you want to see if you even enjoy that work, right? You don't want to put all your eggs in one basket, invest your focus and your time and money when you sure, uh, you sure as hell don't know just yet if you're going to enjoy even working with people on this problem. So that's a great way to test if, whether you enjoy it. The second thing is that it's going to build confidence, right? When you've worked with real humans, you've done the same process in and out, with those three people, you've gotten people results, you're going to feel good. You're going to feel that, hey, it works. It works with multiple people. It's not just in my head. So that is innately going to give you the confidence that you need to actually start to promote it and charge for it when that time comes. And the third piece of um, benefit is going to be about testimonial, your credibility, right? Before you launch your site, before you do any of that stuff, having that testimonial, real customer feedback is really going to allow you to um, uh, put that on your website, put that as little snippets for your social media posts, just start inviting people to also get similar results with you. All in all, the ask, test, and validate stage is super important uh, for us to refine the process, improve what we've created, and really, before we put it out there into, into the world, feel really confident about my work, uh, about your work. <laughs> um, okay, so I want to end it with um, giving you something to do for this. So as you see, if you're, you're, you see that all these little steps that you can start doing today without doing the marketing stuff first, um, I would love to invite you to actually enroll in one of the courses that I have called Startup to Sold Out which actually focuses on all these steps. It is an eight module self-guided course that's basically for any service-based entrepreneur that are looking to create their brand, looking to create their offers and understanding their ideal client and how to market to them. It's also going to include the beta test stage, the one that I just talked to you about in much more bigger detail to uh, help you invite and enroll beta testers and how to manage and navigate that process so that you're ready to launch your offer to the world. So there will be a link somewhere below on top of this video uh, that you can get access to the course and definitely let me know if you have any questions. So comment below if I can help you with anything around your validation of your idea uh, to feeling courageous and confident about what you have to offer in your business, please let me know and I'll be happy to answer it. Thank you so much again for joining me for today's episode and hope to see you soon. Hey, thank you so very much for watching Screw the Cubicle TV and don't forget to subscribe below to get all the latest cubicle crashing content on how to quit your nine to five and create a life and business on your own terms.